we carefully looked at our data about a day after launch of the space shuttle in a routine way. And unexpectedly, we saw a signature of a large water cloud in the Arctic approximately 24 hours after launch and could not figure out what this was because such large amounts of water in this portion of the atmosphere are essentially unheard of. And on a hunch, we went back and looked at the shuttle ascent profile and determined where the water was injected on its ascent and began putting two and two together and figured out that this water that we were seeing so far from the source of injection was in fact the shuttle exhaust, which is almost entirely water vapor. We then observed the clouds later on in the mission and put two and two together and figured out that this water that we observed earlier in the mission in the Arctic was the source of these clouds. Launch vehicle, rocket, launch vehicle, rocket, launch vehicle, rocket, launch vehicle, rocket. Historical PMC record contains observations prior to the space age. So certainly the space shuttle or any other rocket launch vehicle cannot exclusively account for these clouds in the historical record. But they can contribute and it is this contribution that we need to untangle now. That we need to untangle now. That we need to untangle now. That we need to untangle.